66 Alian and Woodworth box set exhibited by DWNC Jones and Messrs. Serkum and Messrs. Kirk. Second place, number 167, Riverdale Ashlands Gold, exhibited by Evening Hill Farms Limited. Third place, number 164, Davlier Stanley Cup Lunu, exhibited by Ian and Max Davis. Fourth place, number 165, Prairie Saloon Lustry, exhibited by Mrs. A. H. Wilson and Son. Fifth place, number 169, Washfold Mary 215, exhibited by uh, Riverdale Holstein and Washfold. And in sixth place, number 168, Ilim Bahama Pat 2, exhibited by Mrs. E.R. Herridge and Son. Our well, thanks to Crystal Lakes for their sponsorship of this class. For me, she uses a line better when she's on parade and has a more balanced and correct rump structure when you get her in line. I love the forder on this cow in first, the bone quality. And she also, when she tracks out, she's just a little bit firmer on them pastons. And this great, great cow we have in second. A cow that I really admire, she's long bodied, she's dairy. She's got a high wide rear rudder. And it's that the height and width of the rear rudder, the length of the length of body, the pin setting gets her over this third cow. The cow that everybody would just love to milk this third cow. She's got that long body, she's got that great mammary system. And she has the advantage in mammary system, teeth placement over a real long dairy cow. 
and fourth. Fourth over fifth, just more cow today. Overall length of body, a little bit more power and dariness up through that front end and breed character. That's not taking off and away from the cowing.